Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I make my fried chicken using none other than my favorite part, the drumstick. I'm also going to make a spicy dipping sauce to go along with it, so let's get started with the recipe. All right, so first up on the list is the dipping sauce. And with this one in particular, I'm making mayo from scratch as the base. So in a small bowl, you're gonna add in the egg yolk, Dijon mustard, and distilled vinegar. Then you're gonna stir those ingredients together. After that, slowly drizzle in the vegetable oil while constantly whisking until it starts to thicken up. Then you can increase your pour rate until the mayo is finished. If you want it to be completely set up like most mayo is, stick it in the fridge for a few hours and it will stiffen up a bit. Anyways, once that's all finished up, add in some more Dijon mustard to a bowl along with the freshly made mayo, some diced white onion, sliced pickled yellow chilies, chopped cilantro, and a mixture of smoked paprika, chili powder, and cayenne to finish. Give this all a good mix and then set it in the fridge until you are ready to dip. Next up, of course, is the fried chicken drumsticks. So first things first, make sure you season both sides of the chicken legs with salt and cracked black pepper. Then it's time for the dredging mixture. It's very important to season your flour dredging mixture, otherwise uh, your chicken can end up pretty bland. Uh, so here I'm going to chop up a simple herb medley of rosemary, thyme, and sage. Uh, then I'll add that to a large bowl along with the all-purpose flour, crushed corn flakes, that makes it super, super crispy, and then some paprika, chili powder, and cayenne pepper, just like the dipping sauce. Once that's all in there, mix it all together until all those beautiful flavors have been dispersed evenly. Once the dredging mixture is done, you're gonna get a sheet tray with a rack on it ready to go. And then you're gonna to start to coat each drumstick in a generous amount of the seasoned flour, then place them all back on the rack, ready for the next step. Now that the chicken is all dredged up, you're gonna whisk up the eggs with a splash of milk and some salt and pepper and begin to bread the dredged drumsticks first by coating them in the egg mixture and then in the seasoned flour one more time to get a really crispy coating. One thing to note here is to try and avoid crowding your flour or egg mixtures with too much chicken. Otherwise, it can become a mess and the chicken won't get breaded to your liking. Basically, either get bigger bowls or work in smaller batches. After the chicken have been breaded and are ready for the fryer, make sure you have a large pot filled about halfway up with veggie oil that's at or around 375 degrees Fahrenheit and begin frying the drumsticks in batches. They will take about 12 to 15 minutes or so, but it does depend on the size of the legs that you have at the end of the day. If you are really worried about it not being cooked all the way through, you can throw them into a 500 degree oven for another 10 minutes for a little peace of mind. All right, so now that the chicken is fried up and ready to be devoured, load up a bucket, top it with some fried herbs to garnish, grab your sauce, and enjoy some crispy deliciousness.
What's up guys? Okay, so the fried chicken drumstick recipe is done. These look very, very beautiful. It's kind of fantastic. But I'm gonna run through the recipe and uh, run through the flavors and tell you guys how I did. So let me do that. Okay. Nice little dip. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I think I need a napkin. Very, very good. Super tender. As you heard, hopefully it was super crunchy on the outside. Flaky. I think that cornflake mixture really kind of enhances the, uh, the crunch factor. Oops. A little dip of this. This dipping sauce is crazy good. Mmm. Wow. The sauce has that beautiful, like, savory, smoky paprika, a little cilantro, like pickled chili flavored. And um, it just adds kind of a nice little touch of acidity to this. So good. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. If you guys want to know more about the equipment list, uh, ingredient list, things that I use on my channel, Make sure you check the description box. Also, make sure you comment down below uh, for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.